On June 23rd, 2020, the Minecraft community collectively rejoiced as Mojang dropped a bombshell. And that, of course, was the Nether update, a game changer of colossal proportions. It reshaped the Nether, transforming a once desolate dimension into a realm of infinite possibilities. Expectations soared higher than ever imagined. Players were left in awe, their Minecraft dreams fulfilled. But as the dust settled and the excitement lingered, the inevitable question arose. Could future Minecraft updates live up to the glory of 1.16? Well, fellow gamers, let's just say that Mojang didn't exactly stick the landing. Mojang's journey with Minecraft updates has been a roller coaster, and with the recent 1.21 update, there's a glimmer of hope that the tide might be turning. But will this update truly save Minecraft? Only time can tell. Following the grandeur of 1.16, Mojang seemed determined to outdo themselves with a 1.17, Caves and Cliffs update. The initial excitement was very large, and I vividly remember thinking, this is going to be epic, but alas, it wasn't all smooth sailing. It's like ordering a full course meal and only receiving the appetizer. Promises were made, new caves, wardens, skulk, dripstone, coppers, goats, spyglasses, bundles, amethyst, archaeology, the list goes on. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. However, reality hit hard, and half of these promises didn't make the final cut. Mojang's remedy? Splitting the update into two halves. Cause that's gonna make everyone happy, right? A bit irksome, but forgivable, but little did we know this would become a reoccurring theme. So they divided the update, leaving us to ponder, is this a one-time hiccup? Or... yeah, no. Now don't get me wrong, 1.17 brought some pretty cool updates. While it didn't fulfill every promise, it held its ground. Now our gaze into 1.18, anticipating the pieces to fall into place like a puzzle. We had acquired all the blocks and items for the caves. Now all we needed was the actual caves, bundles, wardens, skulk sensors, and well, I mean, we got the cave generation, but that was pretty much it. Alongside a few minor adjustments, of course, like in every Minecraft update. But the entire Deep Dark and Warden, essentially all the cool stuff, got moved once again to the next update, 1.19. Admiss this, the mob vote steered their own controversy, worthy of its own video. So if you want to dive into that, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, the community was growing restless. Although some remained patient, all that was left to await was 1.19. And surely everything would be fine, right? Well... Now that 1.19 has been announced, here's the lineup. Frogs, a new swamp biome, mud, the LA from the mob vote, the, the warden, the deep dark, skulk, and fireflies. But midway through development, they decide to remove fireflies. Why, you ask? Because apparently fireflies are poisonous to frogs. Now everyone's upset again, all because of a two pixel mob. Man, Mojang just can't catch a break. Despite it all, I personally enjoyed the 1.19 update. It was a breath of fresh air from the past few updates. But now, will 1.20 revolutionize Minecraft? Yeah, I wish. 1.20 rolled in in a touch of elegance. Hanging signs, camels, bamboo wood, and finally, archaeology graced the Minecraft realm. Not to forget the introduction of suspicious sand. Probably the best thing they added in this update. It seemed promising, though. Yet the community sensed a pattern. Mojang was struggling to recreate the magic of 1.16. Once more, we found ourselves in the familiar position of anticipation for 1.21. Why don't they just give us an end update, man? Well, and here we are, dear viewers, on the brink of 1.21. A new structure, the Trial Chamber, promises a cooler dungeon experience along with a fresh batch of goodies, a copper bulb block, a new spawner, a new mob called the Breeze, and my personal favorite, the Auto Crafter block, which is definitely going to affect the Redstone world. While these things have been shared, keep in mind that there are still more surprises in store. Snapshots are already available as we speak, and the community is abuzz with speculation. This update serves as our last bastion of hope for Minecraft updates. If 1.21 falls short, then the next one will likely too. But as always, only time can tell. And there you have it, folks. Thanks a bunch for tuning in. I know it's been a while since my last upload, and for that, I apologize. But hey... If you're craving more content, and trust me, I am ready to deliver, just hit that like button. Your support means the world to me.
All right, it's time to wrap it up. Wishing each and every one of you an awesome rest of your day. Until next time, take care. I'm planning on live streaming very soon, so comment what you think about that, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!